Okay, in this video we're going to take a look at a rational function and we're going to try to find some horizontal asymptotes and we're going to use the limit approach. We're going to take the limit as x approaches infinity and we'll also take the limit as x approaches negative infinity. All right, so for my, let's go um, x approaching infinity for the first one. So we'll have the limit as x approaches infinity of this function of e to the x over this 5 plus e to the x. All right, so the first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take this e to the x that's in the numerator, move it down to the denominator. We'll make that e to the negative x then. So we'll have the limit as x approaches infinity, and then we'll have a 1 on top. We'll have e to the negative x, because I moved that down, times the 5 plus e to the x. All right, now at this point, um, I'm going to go ahead and just distribute that e to the negative x. So we'll have the limit as x approaches infinity, 1 over, we'll have a 5e to the negative x. And then when we multiply here, e to the negative x times e to the x, that'll give us an e to the 0, which is a 1. So just doing some algebraic you know, manipulation on that to make this a little bit easier. All right, now we're going to go to a direct substitution. All right, x is approaching infinity, so it's getting infinitely large here. So we'll have a 1 over. I'm just going to go ahead and show this as a 5e to the negative x. It's approaching, um, it's getting really, really large there, okay, and then plus 1. All right, if we think of this as e to the negative infinity, I could rewrite so that it is 5 over e to the positive infinity and then plus 1. All right, so ultimately this is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. X is approaching a really, really large number. E raised to a really, really large number. Whole thing's going to get big. 5 over that is going to give us a 0 there. So I'm going to have a 1 over 0 plus 1. 1 over 1 is going to give me 1. So I have a horizontal limit there at y equals 1. <clears throat> so y equals 1 is my 1 of my horizontal asymptotes there. Okay, now we're going to try the limit as x approaches negative infinity. All right, we'll do our e to the x all over our 5 plus e to the x. All right, I think on this one, <clears throat> right away, I almost want to do a direct substitution here. So we'll do a direct substitution. All right, we're going to have an e to a negative infinity. So approaching a number that's getting really, really small there over a 5 plus e e to the negative infinity. All right, now from there, let's think of this numerator as a 1 over e to infinity. The bottom here will have a 5 plus, again, a 1 over an e to infinity. Those denominators are getting bigger and bigger and bigger, which means 1 over a number that's getting bigger and bigger and bigger there is going to be a 0 on top. This also will go to 0. 0 plus 5 is going to give me a 5 on the bottom, so then I'm going to get a 0. So again, horizontal asymptote here on this one, y equals 0. So definitely just one approach to finding those horizontal asymptotes by using the limit. You can take the limit as x approaches infinity. You can take the limit as x approaches negative infinity. So typically this is um, done just in your Calc 1 class, just as a beginning thing when you are first learning how to do limits, and you can apply it to that finding those horizontal asymptotes. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.